Alright guys, I want to show you something. I saw a lot of people make this air building kit. Uh, they make a custom engine and stuff. They redo the crank. Um, put new bearings in and stuff. And they use the wrong kind of bearing. Right size, wrong kind. And I figured I'd explain what the issue is and how this kind of works. Because it seems like some people don't know this. But... Uh, when you're doing one of these cranks, I don't know, this was just a random have I have from something. Okay. Technically, your bearing would be like this, right? Then you would have your case, which is around the bearing, and then a crank seal, which would ride the shaft to seal it, okay? Now, the side that goes towards the crank... You want to make sure has no bearing seal. Because what happens is when you put this in and the seals on this side, it doesn't get lubricated correctly by the engine. <clears throat> so the crankcase plays a couple of different roles here. It lubricates your bearings and it also sends the new air fuel charge up into the cylinder and so forth anyway. so another big thing so yeah if your bearings look like that on both sides that is not what you want to use on a crank you always want one side open towards the inside of the crankcase so that they're lubricated otherwise your bearings go to hell all right now another big thing that people don't do is if you look at these you'll see they have grease okay you want to put a petroleum based grease in there a regular organic grease not like lithium or something like that and just like an engine cylinder where the rings have to form bearings are the same way they cut a rough race as they form it actually will Grind everything nice and round to the life of that bearing. So, putting some grease actually traps a little bit of debris. And as it goes around, it pounds it into a nice fine powder. Almost with the grease as it's burned off. And um, then you don't have any debris out of them in your engine as these are forming. But putting grease in your bearings when you're putting in like a new crank or something very important for a crankcase and a lot of people don't do that and I mean sure it's not a hundred percent needed because you know there's a lot of good oils and all that good stuff out there but I'm just saying a standard practice Pack the one side with grease, run it around a few times before you put it in. You can't go wrong. Uh, just don't use a uh, synthetic grease. And then the other thing too, this is for pressing in bearings. And as you can see, they're almost identical. Uh, Alright, so this right here is like, I think, 0.25 millimeters smaller diameter. And then, also what they do is they make it slightly larger diameter inside, so that if you have a shaft going through it, it slides over the shaft. So, I'll usually put like a big socket on this or something to knock something in and out. But these are made out of, uh, it's like a Babbitt type material. You can pound it and everything. They'll misshape a little here and there and stuff. But it won't dent your bearings, crack your races. You can pound the crap out of it, press it, all that. And it's the perfect size to not screw your bearing up. Especially when you're pressing one in this side. The whole thing is protected. Now, I actually have a blank that goes in this with a plate, sits flat on here, and the pin goes right through the bearing to keep it aligned so you can pound them in. So, I just 
don't know where I put it at the moment. But anyways, these super handy. It's just a bearing press blank. So. <clears throat> and I believe the M stands for the type of material. Um, the medium is the hardness of it. There's like a S and M and an H. And they all have different purposes and stuff along those lines. But this is the one that I use for motorized bicycle builds. But anyways, yeah, when you're doing a crank, guys, make sure you open one side. Put some grease in it. And it will definitely help you down the road. I mean, a couple seconds of putting grease in bearings isn't going to kill you. You're spending all that time building it. You might as well do one precautionary step that could really help save the life of that bearing and make it work a little longer. But, uh... Yeah, and then um, the other thing, too, is I see people, which kills me, they'll sand the shaft <laughs> to slide the bearing on easier and stuff. That is, like, the worst possible thing that you can possibly do <laughs> to the axles on a crank or on one of the clutches and stuff. I just, I see people do it, and it's so cringe. You got a couple different methods and stuff. Um, if you're going to do bearings, you know, you can heat and cool them to make them shrink or make them expand. Um, you can actually put bearings in a wet paper towel, fold it over, put it in the microwave 45 seconds. Both of those would be blazing hot and no, it won't kill your microwave. Microwaves were actually invented to heat bearings originally, and a lot of people don't realize that. You can stick them in the freezer. Ideally, you put these on the crank first, then you do your next step, and then you put it in the case. So, anyways, I just wanted to mention that. Make sure you leave these open when you do your cranks and don't use these <laughs> I've seen that too don't use these on the clutch side and leave them exposed like towards the, the pinion gear or the clutch like that <laughs> if you're gonna use them at least leave the exposed side inward because they're still sealed in there nothing can really get in them but in theory you're supposed to use double sealed ones on that because there's no lubrication stuff going on inside there but that case is sealed so you could get away with putting them in this way into the case i wouldn't recommend it double seals for that one but anyways all right peace